Okay, chaps. As a great pre-war singer once said, we've got to fight for this love. Now, let's go redhead hunting. Raul, I wish you wouldn't grin when I say things like that. Hmm. Fortunately, the redhead sensor on my pit boy is working at maximum capacity. It's pointing me walk towards a Brahmin. Oh, no wait. Thank we can't God. sit idly while the Legion prepares. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. Don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know? And why? Well, I've been inside Nellis and there's a young man who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy? I always wondered if he was watching me back. What's he like? Um... He's a special sort of guy. Perfect for a special sort of gal. Oh, I've just got to meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Um, I'll ask Pearl. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Yeah, hopefully they don't get hit up with an artillery shell. Hello, gents. We're going to get a visitor soon. Hey. Please don't kill her. As that's just not cricket. we have. At least you're better conversational with some booners. And not quite as chatty as Dean or God. I can't believe we may see the super fortress built in my lifetime. He has sentience. Run. Run very quickly. Hi. Did you know your robots seem to be able to independently think for themselves. I thought Eddie was the only one who could do that. You have done well. Yeah. Jack's interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who is she? She works for Crimson Caravan? She's with those traders? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and... I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. It would mean a lot to Jack. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. Do not make me regret this decision outside. Yeah, I'll try and make sure she doesn't shit on the carpet. Fuck, is it my problem? I've never seen a ghoul up close. Not sure I wanted to. Run, gentlemen. It's a fucking crazy talking Mr. Gutsy. We are getting out of here. When they were looking for scrap metal, didn't they think of possibly, you know, getting rid of some of these giant metal boxes? Or that big fucking crane? You know, just a little thought. Nothing extreme. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dream. Yep. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs a way of getting past the artillery. Here. Take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Right, Crimson Caravan.
back through. And here's the lucky lady herself, I guess. Why Hello again. Sweeping... How's your boomer friend? Um, that's what I want to I was hoping about. you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Yeah, stick this uniform on. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away, I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Uh. Well, we've done McLafferty a good turn. Hey, McLafferty, how you doing? Welcome back. So, Jenna asked me to talk to you about releasing her from a contract. Ah, uh, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. I am Janet good legal representative. Leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Are you really going to ru ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just as once. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. Yeah. Especially after all that frigging work I did for you. I'm just gonna be so glad when she goes back west and gets arrested. Have you spoken with McLafferty yet? Yep. You're paid. Shift your ass. That's great! I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Off you go. Don't get killed. Oh, she's so going to get killed, isn't she? Right. So, the... Flying Fortress is somewhere east of here. Let's go dig up a plane. A 300 year old plane, which is totally going to work using the shitty spare parts from a museum. Oh fuck. Didn't see him. Still alive. Who would have guessed? Good work, gents. I can always rely on you to kill things for me. That was the wrong compass marker I was following, wasn't it? Ah, the open roads. It's good to be out here after the Sierra Madre. Uh oh, we got a blip. Coming up friendly though. Let's see who it is. Please don't be somebody trying to murder me. This is your shack? Well, your Brahmin needs feeding. Hey Raul, nice house. I... guess. Grab on your stim packs now. Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Ooh, a copy of Guns and Bullets. Mind if I have a read? Didn't think so. 
Angry soldier robots with bazookas. I'm sure they'll be a good police force. Yeah, yeah, they really will. So, how about some repairs? Sure, I'll just pull it. Talk to me in my shack. We are in your shack, you dumbass. Is this not your shack? Seriously, this is your shack though, isn't it? Roll. Oh, good! Tell me some of your stories. That's what I love about you, boss. Your firm belief that one day you'll actually remember things people tell you. What do you want to hear about? Actually, no mind. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is your shack, mate. Don't worry, boss. I'm sure the sudden tension in the air is just a thunderstorm. God damn it, Roll. You suffering frigging Alzheimer's now? Ah, whatever. I'll just stitch my stuff back together myself, shall I? Oh dear God! Um. Commence operation, shoot it in the face. Operation shoot it in the face was successful. Now operation shoot the other one in the face. Raul, why exactly did you pitch your home up next to what I can only describe as an ass ton of death claws? Oh, that's a train tunnel to Nellis Air Force Base, isn't it? Keeping quiet. Unless my creaky knees give us a Okay, I guess we're doing this. Look who's come to say hi. God, they were babies. Well, that does now mean there's a very, very, very pissed off mummy deathclaw out there. Which I don't know about you fellas, but I don't want to meet her. And there she is. Let's just say hi. God damn it, why didn't the Euclid work again? That's not good. That's not good at all. Shoot it! Shoot it! Okay, I guess we So instead of an or awesome orbital death cannon. I am instead now equipped with a somewhat shitty laser pointer. Christ on a bike. Fuck this noise. Uh. Are you working yet? Huh. 
At least the stupid laser points are turned off. Why the hell did we bother activating that satellite? The biggest waste of fucking time ever. Should have just diverted power to a better cause. Like anything else. Oh, look guys, some brown rocks instead of grey rocks. I'm picking up hostiles from all sides. And I'm not sure what Cazador's Never mind. Fantastic time to test out our new friend. Where did that go? Kill the bug. Kill the bug. Kill the bug before it kills me. Ugh. Hate Cazadores. Eat that. Eat that. Oh, where is he? Oh god! Is it dead? Guys, kill the boss. Ouch, I just blew my face up. There we go. I fly now. <laughs> Stupid crimson doors. Oh yeah, you don't mess with me. How far does this thing launch grenades? Pretty fucking far. I've been doing this longer than you, pal. Hey, stop it. Direct hit. Oh, come on. That was impressive. Seriously, it was impressive. Well, screw what you guys think. At least there are less Cazadors in the world now. Speaking of the devil... That one's brought friends. Boom. And there goes another one. However, more Cazadors. Wait, you're not a Cazador. Oh god! Let's just hide in the fisherman's hut. Is there anything of use in the fisherman's hut? I'm imagining Mr. Fisherman is dead. A copy of Pugilism Illustrated. We're really doing well for books today. Ooh, a shiny.
Right. Cazador's dead. Book read. Big scary fishman found. Oops. This is actually quite fun. Eat this. And down he goes. Into the murky, murky depths. One more. Did I get him? No. Oh. Eddie, finish him. And the National Cazador population, plus Fishmen population, has been brought down to zero. Ah well, poor Cazadors. Nobody loves you. Now I'm out of grenade launcher ammunition. I was having such a good time as well. Hmm, end of the line. At least now I know well. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around the door. Whoops. This is Calville Bay. There's a gunrunner's arsenal thing somewhere around here. And I intend to uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh yeah, they're not actually that close, I'm looking at them for a scope. Silly me. Minus one. All right, Cazadors have been dealt with. What a lovely boating area. Shame the mass infestation is kind of putting a dampener on things. We'll take the anti-venom though. Alright, let's check the note. Do 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 do. A little boat slash bait shop. Well, that looks like a boat and bait shop. Ah, who are you? Ah, oh, there's rats everywhere. Yep, she had a big fancy fucking flaming sword. Which we shall now take from her dead, dead hands. Hmm. Anything useful in here? Hey, another star chip.
We have to be almost there. How many damn things do we have now? 53. Jesus, that's got to be enough. After we raise this stupid plane from the watery depths, we're going to go to Festus and shout at him until he gives us our reward. Rebreather seems to be working fine. At least I'm not dead yet. And this place has a distinct lack of radiation. Holy shit! Fish! They actually survived. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. So, um, where do they want me to stick? I guess you jam them on the underside. One. And two. Hey, roll. Oh Christ, there's fishmen on the yeah, shore. Yeah. Time for more fight. Go quickly. Kill the fishmen, kill the fishmen. Minus one fishman. Eat this, you salmony bastard. And come on. This is the closest body of land. Good job we cleared everything out of here then. Boom, 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 come on. Unless the pit boy has found a more decent location. <laughs> Gentlemen, we've just raised a giant fucking plane from the depths. I consider this is a good day. So let's go give it to a load of heavily armed miscreants. Let's face it, they're not going to use it for malpurposes are they? In any way, shape or form.